Comparative Analysis of Heart Disease Prediction Using Machine Learning Classification Techniques Abstract B Heart is the main component of the human body and without it the body can't function. It provides the flow of blood to different organs and body parts. It purifies the blood by removing the carbon dioxide, CO2. It is also known as cardiovascular disease, it creates many risk factors for a human, including death. Researchers apply several data mining and machine learning techniques to analyze huge complex medical data, helping healthcare professionals to predict heart disease. One, the research paper presents various attributes available from the data set, which has 300 instances and 14 features attributes, which will be used to perform the given problem. The main idea for the paper is to do a comparative research on machine learning classification techniques and to show which is the best performing algorithm to predict the heart disease at a much earlier phase to avoid the repercussions that would be faced by the patients later. Keywords Comparative Analysis, Machine Learning Heart Disease Prediction, Random Forest, Classification I Introduction Diseases are the biggest threat to human life and cardiovascular are the most dangerous ones. The disease are increasing on day-to-day -day basis. The treatment of heart problems has recently been stated in a study that has received huge attention in the medical system worldwide. On median, 17.7 .7 million deaths result from heart disease, which counts for about 31% throughout the world in 2016, according to World Health Organization, WHO. Dot the number of cardiac cases, which is the focus of this study, shows that 82% of cases are from low- and middle-income countries, 17 million people are under 70 years old and susceptible to non-infectious diseases, 6.7 million people are affected by stroke, and 7.4 million people have heart disease, WHO, 2016, 3. The machine learning techniques that are used by the authors are Random Forest Classifier, Decision Tree Classifier, KNN, Support Vector Machine and Naive Bayes Classifier. Determining the probability of having the cardiac disease is tough, and we need a proper data set for achieving a proper accuracy for success of determination. Hence, a classification comparison is performed to achieve so. To literature overview there are many research works done on heart diseases diagnosis, the results revealed that LR had a higher accuracy of 85.68% than XG boost, which had a lower accuracy of 84.46%. Beta et etc. After that, he devised a model for diagnosing heart illness that combines a multilayer perceptron network, MLP, with a back propagation method. The suggested model has a reduced error and an enhanced accuracy of 80.99%, according to the results. To forecast heart illness, a Bushariya ETAL used N and an adaptive neurofuzzy inference system, ANFIS. ANFIS has the lowest accuracy of 75.93%, while N has the highest accuracy of 87.04%. Hassanit and his colleagues for 5 used 7 machine learning algorithms, LR, N, KNN, NB, SVM, DT, and RF with 3 feature selections, minimal redundancy maximal relevance, MRMR, relief, and shrinkage and selection operator, LASSO, to predict heart disease. LR with relief achieved the highest accuracy of 89% compared to other techniques. 3 Methodology A data preparation The data set is collected from an internet no data set known as the heart attack analysis and prediction data set. Because the data is difficult to come by, the only way to run the model and make a forecast was to use data from a reliable source. The data set contains various attributes such as age gender, fasting blood sugar, serum cholesterol, maximum heart rate achieved, rating blood pressure, exercise indexed angina, old peak, number of vessels etc. The length of the data set is 300 with 14 different attributes mentioned above. Figure 1, data set overview. B data pre-processing real world things contains errors in it so does our data so for this the pre-processing is a good step to improve it. The speed of the method is determined on whether or not the data has been pre-processed. Better the pre-processing done better will be the result of the model which will one use. Firstly the ijert 10 is 110047 www.ijert.org 183 Author checks for all the null values and then remove the ID. Column which won't hinder the results. Figure 2, checking null values in the data set. See feature selection features are important component for getting proper results from the algorithm used. Visualization helps us to see the different features and how they would make an impact on the results. Figure 3 shows which gender is more affected by the disease. 
Again figure 4 shows the visualization of which age is more impacted by the disease which give a great factor to the model for the deciding whether the patient will be prone to the disease or not. Finally a correlation matrix would help the authors to get an idea of the relations between all the features slash attributes which can be seen in figure 5. D model architecture. 1. Random forest classifier It's a method that falls under the ensemble model umbrella. Combining classification and regression techniques, it may be utilized to create a good prediction model. Decision trees are employed as the basis estimators in this study. Decision trees are a poor predictor on their own, but they improve when paired with other decision trees. In classification tasks, decision trees vote on how to categorize a single instance of input data, and in regression tasks, they output the class that is the mode of the classes or the mean of forecasts. We can avoid parameter tweaking and decrease overfitting this way. 2. Support vector machine Support vector machines employ a linear model to implement nonlinear class boundaries. Support vectors, lines or hyperplanes, are used to distinguish the target classes. To deal with a nonlinear situation, the model applies several transformations to the input using a mapping function before training a linear SVM model to classify the data in a higher dimensional feature space. 3. Naive Bayes classifier It is another classification technique in which there is collection of algorithms based on the Bayes theorem. It is a classifier so it is used to discriminate different objects based on certain features. The main task of Bayes is classification task with the help of the Bayes theorem. 4. Decision tree classifier A decision tree is a tool for making decisions that uses a tree-like model of options and their possible consequences, such as chance event outcomes, resource costs, and utility. It's one way to demonstrate an algorithm that's entirely made up of conditional control statements. 5. KNN We would first choose the number of clusters K, and then assume the clusters centroid. Any random item, or the first K objects in a series, might be used as the starting centroid. So the procedure is broken down into three steps, first, we find the centroid's coordinates, then we calculate how distant each item is from the centroid, and finally we group the objects depending on the minimum distance. We can get a centroid by following the technique. For experimental results. The process of picking a data set and pre-processing it to make a good one in order to increase the accuracy of the models chosen. The models chosen have excellent accuracies, as seen in the table below. Starting with random forest classifier which gives 89% accuracy followed by naive Bayes which gives 94%, decision tree gives 86%, support vector machine gives 92% and finally k nearest neighbor gives 89%. Hence, after observing we get to know that naive Bayes performs the best. V conclusion hence, the authors finally observe that naive Bayes gets the best accuracy compared to support vector machine, decision tree, KNN, Random forest classifier after performing all the modes. The accuracy would be used by the other researchers to while choosing the best model out amongst the other models and would definitely help in treating the breast cancer most of the time. 6. Future scope. Furthermore, we can use the following data set to test out different regression models and neural networks and see how does it perform. Secondly, we can try this algorithm on a different data set to know how does it perform and what problems it faces during the testing of the model. The research intended by the authors would help in the development of better and more productive and trustable prediction method of illness, which will in turn not help the medical community but also to many other communities and people in the world.